just really hard it's really 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 mental because you just have to do um what's best for your body but you don't want to eat salads and well i don't want to eat salads and just eat vegetables and stuff like that but i know that that's what's best for my body and i know that that's the only way that i will not be that i could avoid gallbladder surgery if you were diagnosed with gallstones and then you turn into a vegan and just like eating pure plants and vegetables and fruit your gallstones will literally dissolve on their own like that's my theory on it i follow <sighs> no, I'm not all right. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the new pills that I've been drinking. Um, the Stonebreaker pills that I was drinking from Amazon. I stopped drinking those and I got these. These are also from Amazon. Well, I finished the other ones, so I just got a different brand. I'm gonna start my cleanse today. Um, I'm gonna be drinking this apple juice because this is the, the juice I drank the first time that I had a successful flush. Um, I'm scheduled for March 30th to get my gallbladder removed and if my February flush goes good if everything goes good then I'm obviously not gonna get my um, gallbladder removed I finished my pills my Amazon pills the stone breaker the stone breakers and then I started drinking some other ones um, which I didn't drink my vitamins today I think in the book it says not to drink your medication or vitamins because your liver has to like you know not not be working that hard during the during this whole thing so i didn't drink my vitamins or um my stone breakers so but i did finish the whole thing so all throughout the rest of january after my cleanse i was drinking those pills i was also drinking of my stone breaker drops and my gallbladder complete drink which has like apple cider vinegar it tastes really gross and i added some juice to be able to even drink it because i would really not be able to drink that thing if i didn't add juice so yeah that's what i've been doing leading up to my second cleanse look at that so i wanted to mention with the colonic um i'm not going to be getting one before and after i'm only going to be getting one after uh, as always do what the book says so that if anything happens it's on the book not on me okay okay so i wanted to show you guys the stuff i've been drinking um up leading up to my cleanse so i've been drinking this i'm almost out it's just a tiny bit probably for one more time and then i've been drinking this mixed with the stone breaker you put a few drops of this into that i was putting like two whole pumps and then i finished my amazon um my amazon stone breakers so i decided to try a different brand these i believe had less ingredients like um, other stuff so it was more natural anyways i got these also live gall cleanse liver and gallbladder support um and this ingredients believe oh so it has things that help your gallbladder i was hooking up like videos of what helps it and these were the ingredients some of the ingredients milk thistle dandelion extract and turmeric those are the three that i saw so that's why i wanted to get the, this um, specific pill so yeah i got these two these together have been working really good i haven't really gotten any gallbladder attacks i feel fine and yeah, I haven't been drinking them today. Well, I have, didn't drink them today because I'm doing the cleanse. So, yeah. So, today is my second day of my cleanse. This time around, I do not feel sick. I do not feel nauseous with the apple juice. I finished all of the apple juice I had to drink. 
what I did notice is I was not drinking as much as I was supposed to be drinking last time, even though I thought I was. I was drinking like the big blender bottles, which is 22, 23 O's. I was drinking one of those and you're supposed to drink 36, which is one and almost half, more than half of the other one of a second cup. So I definitely wasn't drinking enough. That could have been why I didn't get a good flush. I'm eating a burrito, rice, beans, a little bit of chicken. Okay, so today is my third day. Um, the apple juice is not making me nauseous this time, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, I I kind of already knew it wasn't going to make me nauseous because I feel so different than the first time that I did the cleanse. I think it really did help me. Um, just with how I felt with my gallstones and just in general it makes it made me feel a lot better so That's good um, If I didn't do the first cleanse honestly, I think I would have had to have an emergency surgery or like have to go to the ER But since I did that one even though I didn't get a lot of stones or big stones I got little tiny stones and maybe that could have been in my gall gallbladder um, and also maybe sludge. Sometimes the sludge comes out with the cleanses. So yeah. Uh, what else did I want to say? I finished my apple juice. It's like the big old apple juice that I get at the whole weedery. So I finished that in literally how many? Two days? Two and a half days. So, but I dropped one cup. So I think that you need like three of those jugs if you're drinking the right amount of apple juice. Last time I believe I used two. Yeah, I think I just used two. So I'm gonna go get another one right now. And what's something else? Oh, I'm also with my colonic. I'm only gonna get a colonic after, after I do the cleanse because I don't wanna pay for it before and after. I think that's a little excessive. I also don't think that it's necessary. I really think it's necessary after because you need to get any of the stones that are left there which I think could have contributed to um, other side effects that I was having. So maybe some stones were stuck and I was having certain side effects. Okay, the apple juice is not making me nauseous this time, but it is causing me to have sudden diarrhea. Like not explosive diarrhea or is that a thing? But just like I drink the apple juice and a little bit later I'm like, oh, I need to take a poop, okay? And it kind of feels similar to like when you're drinking um, the Epsom salt. It feels really similar to that. So that was kind of weird to me. But then I was like, well, you know what? Every time I do this cleanse, it's something different. Something different. I feel something different. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, if I think about any... I just got out of the whole weedery. You can see it right there. I got my apple juice. I'm on day three and I finished my apple juice. Makes me realize how much apple juice I was not drinking last time. So, this is what it looks like. It has all of this. It's organic, so, you know, makes me feel better. And, yeah. I think all of the acidic stuff is at the bottom. Anyway, I got my lunch because I all I ate today was a banana okay and because i have to drink so much apple juice so and you're not supposed to eat before or after so it's kind of hard to get a meal in i don't know it's hard for me so i'm finally gonna eat okay so this is what i got my vegan avocado and cheese sandwich there's something on the bottom it looks so good actually it's made with like sweet bread sweet dark bread i don't know Ooh. Okay, and these are bacon bites. They taste like bacon. That's why I like this thing so much. Okay, and then I got... What else did I get? I got some vegan cornbread. Because I like to snack on stuff. I'm always snacking on, like, bread my mom gets from Costco or chips. So I bought these to snack on, I guess, when I'm really hungry. And it's four, so it's a pretty good... That should hold me up till the end of my cleanse. And then I got this energy lemonade. It's made with fresh squeezed lemonade with local honey and organic beet powder. Ooh, it looks so pretty. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna eat. 
Um, I think earlier I was just saying that the apple juice was giving me um, diarrhea this time instead of nausea. Yeah, I don't know. I think every time you do this cleanse, you discover something different. Your body is going through, you know, changes of you cleansing it. So I think that it's normal to be um, experiencing different things, weird things. And yeah, this time around, though, I'm not in a bad mood. Um, I'm not that grumpy and... I feel like I feel a lot better than my last cleanse, so yeah. Okay, so last time I didn't record this part because I felt really nauseous during the whole time, during the whole cleanse, and I felt really sick. So this time I feel good, I feel great, um, even though I haven't ate all day. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. This is the sixth, the sixth day of my cleanse, and um, so what we're going to be needing for today is our Epsom salt our water and um, later on we're going to need our virgin olive oil and i use fresh lemon and oranges instead of the grapefruit so that's just whatever you want preference wise and then so yeah right now i'm going to make the epsom salt this is the one i got for my first cleanse it's from target and this is when i had a successful cleanse the other epsom salt i used last time i didn't like it it actually gave me a rash i don't know if that was the salt but that's what happened anyway so i have my big water here we're going to need of the epsom salt we could do that first so i have my little tablespoons here it's this a big old one oh no it's this a big old red one okay 24 yeah okay so i have my um, water bottles and I have my measuring cup over here, so let's do that first. That was 18. I mean 16, I think. Here it goes 20. And now I'm going to do the four, okay? If someone has a better way of measuring this, just tell me. Can't even see that little line. Okay, that's 24. That's 24 right there. And then I'm just going to double check, but it said four tablespoons of our Epsom salt. Just want to make sure I'm making it right because last time I messed up with the oils. Uh, four tablespoons dissolved in eight oh, glasses of water. And I have to drink your, you have to drink your first portion at six. It is 557. So wish me luck. Alright, I haven't even got the extra. I have to go get a lemon because after I drink this, I drink some of the lemon like a shot. So this is an organic lemon. It looks like an orange. And I did my measurement right here of three fourths for our first serving. Yuck. I'm gonna mix that because the, the grains are really thick. Yeah, I mixed it as good as I can. We're gonna do our so if you guys don't know this is a laxative it's going to make you poop everything out that you have in your stomach all right so i get this just for after and i take these off i don't know why but My parents would make um, enchiladas when I'm on my cleanse. Like, okay. By the way, I am about to use the restroom. Uh, I didn't get a, I need to take my second drink now. I forgot to take out the oranges and the lemons from the fridge, so I'm gonna do that right after this. All right. No, oh, it's falling. Okay, it's 10.10. 10. I'm a little bit late, but I'm gonna drink my shake. Lemon orange and then let's black oil.
Okay, guys, so these are some of my stones um, from earlier. I cut these, too. These are pretty big. They're bigger than the size, or about the size of a quarter. They're a little bit bigger. But um, I wanted to cut them be to see if they were calcified on the inside, and they are. Because see right here. And you guys, I just went to the bathroom again right now. And I got the biggest stone I had ever gotten. I'm about to show you guys. But these are calcified. I didn't cut this one. Um, didn't cut all of them. But like the darker ones are calcified. Okay, this is the biggest stone. And I was having really bad stomach um, pain right now. Not super duper bad, but just like when you have to go poop really bad. And look at this stone. Oh! <gasps> Oh my lord. I couldn't believe it when I freaking grabbed it out of the toilet. I want to cut it up, but I'm going to go show my family first. Now, I'm not sure if this is from my gallbladder or from my liver, but either way, look at that freaking size of that stone. That is so crazy. It's so big and it's it's heavy. Like, it's really cool knowing that this is out of my body. That's why I do the, the cleanse. Even though it's so difficult to do. This is, like, worth everything. This gem right here. Okay, so I just measured this on my phone. I got two inches from here. To smell like, but they don't smell like poop. Okay, I'm gonna cut it just with this disposable thing so I can throw it away after. It's kind of hard, so I already know it's gonna be calcified. Oh my god. Um, it is about to be April, so it's March 30th today. And I didn't do a March cleanse just because I felt like I needed a break, which was probably the worst decision I could have made because my gallbladder has been like the most painful that it has been. Today I had a gallbladder attack. Like in my other video, I, I said that I wasn't sure like if I was having gallbladder attacks or if it was just, it was just a little bit painful. Like now I know that I'm when I'm having a gallbladder attack, like I don't have to ask anyone. Like I know when I'm having one. And so, I got one today was probably my longest one. It was um, probably like five, probably four or five hours. I was taking a nap and it was like hurting the whole time. So that was like an attack, I would say. But um, I just wanted to say that on my February cleanse, I got the biggest stone I had ever gotten. <laughs> Fix your hair. Look at my hair too. Um, it was two inches. I literally measured it. It was two inches. And I wanted to say that. What did I? What did I want to say? Okay, so that day, the day of the actual cleanse when you juices in the morning, I woke up like at five. So it wasn't I had to use the bathroom. And it wasn't time for me to um to drink the Epsom salt. So I went back to sleep, but my phone was at like three, was it at 5%? It was at a percent where I felt comfortable to go back to sleep. So I think it was 5% and then I went back to sleep and my phone did not wake me up. I woke up, I woke up at eight in the morning. So I was like, well, I did everything for no reason. I was so depressed, but then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to drink the Epsom salt. So I drank the Epsom salt. Um, and then I drink another one two hours later. So instead of six and eight, it was eight and ten. Like in the morning, I already felt like my stomach was settled down because I hadn't woken up at six in the morning. Like it didn't feel like my other cleanse in January, but I still drink it. No, you're not gonna press the button. <laughs> I heard you. I still drink it. And so yeah, also, when I got the two inch stone out, it was after I drank my, I, so I drank my second Epsom salt at 10. It was after that one. I got like a really bad stomach ache. I had to like lean over like a contraction if I was having a baby. And I was just there and I was like, oh. uh, people were talking to me. And it just went blank, okay? When I had this two inch 
stone in my stomach in my like i think it was processing you know coming out and so i just had to be quiet and everybody blinked out like and i had to go to the restroom so <laughs> i went and that's when the stone came out afterwards and i had no gallbladder pain for like three days after that but then it started coming back obviously if i'm eating enchiladas and tacos and soda and all of this like it's gonna come back so i'm gonna do my cleanse in april i'm excited to get my colonic machine i was just like mind blown and it made me want to keep doing the flushes i don't think that it's from my gallbladder though because in the book it does say that the gallstones are yellow they're yellow not green the ones that are green are from the liver so i'm just kind of like well when are my gallstones ones gonna come out like am i gonna make it to um am i gonna be able to keep doing the flushes and not get surgery so i was saying that i didn't get a colonic before because they're a little bit expensive um and there's none in my area that's cheaper so i was just like you know what i'm only gonna get a colonic afterwards because there's no point in getting a colonic before um if i'm gonna have to get another one afterwards that was a big mistake i do not recommend it um not getting the colonic affected me tremendously during my actual flush flush and then not i didn't end up getting it afterwards because i was like whatever i already didn't get it before i got a horrible flush and whatever and i literally i just regret it so much and even right now i haven't had like a normal good um poop it's been like like it just feels like stuff is stuck so i'm gonna go get a colonic this one i did it in february i've been feeling stuck like this <laughs> for so long it's march 29th and i still haven't gotten my colonic and i skipped my march cleanse because i was just if you see my videos of me drinking the oil i was just like no like i'm done literally when i was drinking the oil i was like i'm just gonna get surgery but um i'm trying to push through that i actually purchased a colonic machine because i feel like it would be a lot better if i just had something to do it here and i would save money like with the amount of the colonics that i've already gotten i could have purchased this machine so i got it on alibaba so i'm literally just waiting for that to um, come in or be shipped so that i can start my other cleanse um but I don't know if that's a good idea because I'm having really bad gallbladder attacks. Yeah, I got it from Alibaba if you guys want the link. I will post it in the next one when I actually show the machine. If you were diagnosed with gallstones and then you turn into vegan and just like eating pure plants and vegetables and fruit. Then your gallstones will literally dissolve on their own. Like that's my theory on it. I follow this girl on Instagram. She talks about... Um, gallstones and how you can dissolve them naturally and how she was able to dissolve her own naturally she has ultrasound photos and stuff i'm gonna put her i believe it was gallbladder period friendly that's her app and so i messaged her but i think she just does she does the andres mortiz method which i that's like what she posts on her instagram but she also eats super clean so i was thinking like i can't be doing these cleanses and drinking these pills and then eating cup of noodles or my one of my favorite food comfort foods is um top ramen top ramen with a bunch of chili in it and then um panera bread macaroni and cheese with bacon um avocado cheese melt like that's literally what i had today the panera bread and then expecting to to get results so i'm really trying to this month of april eat cleaner i don't want to eat no soups and i don't want to eat like panera food like that um it's just really hard it's really 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 mental because you just have to do um what's best for your body but you don't want to eat salads and well, I don't want to eat salads and just eat vegetables and stuff like that. But I know that that's what's best for my body. And I know that that's the only way that I will not be, that I could avoid gallbladder surgery. Like if I change my um, eating. So I think that's what I'm going to do now in April. Um, 
and drink more water i think that's why i got them in the first place i drink almost no water i'm gonna get a camera to be recording for my birthday my birthday's in april so yes she's just uh. tapping me and tapping me and tapping what uh. say it now say it now she's asking me like does your gallbladder hurt because she was she was um hearing gallbladder in my videos that i was watching so she's like, is your gallbladder hurting? And I'm like, what the? What the? What the? I'm going to be changing my diet and drinking more water. And I am going to do an April flush. I'm just waiting for my colonic um, machine to get here. And I'm going to do like an, um, I'm going to upload um, a video of me opening it. And then a review on it because I'm kind of like, is it going to work? Or I'm not sure if it's going to work or what. So yeah, and then I wanted to say one more thing. I've been drinking my pills. I've been drinking my uh, apple cider vinegar thing. I need to get another yeah, one. But what them. was really helping me was the gallbladder complete drink. And then my grandma bought me something from Mexico, but it tastes like grape juice and I don't think that it's that helpful. I think that the gallbladder complete with the vinegar is a lot more helpful. So yeah, bye and I'll see you guys in my April flush.